Well, the fight over mask mandates isn't done yet. As the next school year approaches, some districts have already mandated face coverings for unvaccinated students. Well, tonight we take an in-depth look at both sides of this debate and look at what other school districts are doing. Evening Edition's Evelyn Schultz spoke with one Fayette County woman who wants schools to let parents make the choice. With a month to go until the start of the school year, a group of parents has another message for the Kentucky Department of Education. Make the decision that masks are not required. Let people choose. If they want to wear them, wear them. If you don't want to wear them, don't. If you want to get vaccinated, do. If you don't want to get vaccinated, don't. But quit pitting kids against each other. Don Perkins founded Let Them Play last year to advocate for student athletes during the pandemic. Almost one year later, she's rallying parents against mask mandates in schools for unvaccinated kids. Her latest Facebook post asks families to let state education leaders know how they feel. Kids are in the, they're in the battleground. I mean, they're they're in the war right now, right smack in the middle of it, and they didn't choose to be that. The CDC's latest guidance says unvaccinated children should continue to wear masks at school and with no vaccine approved for kids younger than 12, it appears many districts will opt to mandate face coverings this fall. They can't be protected yet. They can get infected and there are studies that have shown that they do spread infection. But Perkins hopes enough pressure from parents can sway state leaders. If we spend half as much time and energy on encouraging kids and getting them sighted and everything to go back to school, we'd be a lot further ahead than where we are right now. There are nearly 40,000 members of the Let Them Play in Kentucky Facebook group. Perkins says she hopes just as many people call and email the Kentucky Department of Education. In Lexington, Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News. And of course, there are two sides to every story because most school aged kids aren't eligible for the vaccine right now. There's concern over the potential for outbreaks in classrooms all over Kentucky. And if that were to happen, in person learning would likely have to shift to virtual, which allows some to make a strong case for a school mask mandate. Evening Edition's Michael Burke reports. If you're thinking we're in the clear from COVID as it relates to kids, think again, because it's actually a little worse now. A year ago, kids were 7% of the total number of COVID-19 cases in the United States. Last week, they were 14%. And yes, there's a science behind that too, and it has to do with the adults who now have been vaccinated. The virus is trying to find a place, it's trying to find a host, and the only hosts left are the unvaccinated, and so the kids are in a way, actually at a higher risk of contracting it. Dr. Haas said she had a 15-year-old test positive for coronavirus just this morning. So what now as it relates to schools this fall? If we can't mandate vaccinations, which Dr. Haas doesn't think we're in a position to do at this point, should the schools at least mandate mask wearing to begin the year, as they did when the last school year ended? So to me, if that's keeping kids being able to go to school and be in their activities, and still most of them aren't vaccinated, why would you change that now? Haas feels it could also be a school by school or even classroom by classroom basis, depending on the vaccination rate and the makeup of the student body. Your student might not be at risk, but the mask could help a fellow classmate who may not be as fortunate. I see both sides of that, but you know, some people don't respond to the vaccine. A lot of, you know, a significant portion of immunosuppressed kids won't respond, and those kids need to be protected too. The Lexington Fayette County Health Department will continue to recommend face coverings inside school buildings, as so many that age aren't yet eligible for the vaccine. In Lexington, Michael Burke for Evening Edition. Yesterday, the largest school district in Kentucky released mass guidelines for going back to school. On July 11th, the district sent a letter to the Jefferson County Public School community after reviewing updated guidance from the CDC that says students and teachers who are fully vaccinated do not need to wear masks indoors. JCPS Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio says this to the parent, student or staff who would find this inconvenient. We have to follow the guidelines of the Centers for Disease Control as being the experts in our country on what is the best way to move forward to ensure safety for our students and our staff. The CDC recommends that those who are unvaccinated continue to wear masks indoors. The agency says that children and adolescents benefit from in-person learning and returning to schools in the fall is a priority. A representative from Fayette County Public Schools says the district will announce their mask policy in just a couple of weeks.